Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Happy St. Patrick's Day today. All those of you whose name is Patrick, happy St. Patrick's Day. Today is Thursday, 317 of 2022, 49 degrees Fahrenheit or 9 degrees Celsius. I'm going to show you my survivors and my failures, the ones that withstood the temperature of 26 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 3 degrees Celsius when I couldn't bring them in right away, but they survived in the microclimate. And of course, my failures. Now, first we'll show you my survivors. Here's my mistletoe fig. And you can see our shamrocks. There you go. It blessed us with shamrocks on St. Patrick's Day. So what I'm gonna do, and why is the clover the three-leaf clover considered a shamrock. Uh, that one, because of uh, St. Patrick, they say that the way he taught the Irish Christianity was to use a shamrock to display, to display the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So that's why it's displayed as a shamrock. That's our little three-leaf clover there growing. And right now we're going to cut off, let me just dip a little bit and cut off the dead part to there. We're going to let the rest grow and you can see all the little figs growing on there. Can't eat them, but that's our little mistletoe fig. And then this is my Fukian tea. Now this one survived. I, I got this from my friend who left it. I gave it to him growing great and then he didn't water it and it dried out. So what I did is I, as soon as he gave it to me, I hurried up and put it in a, a, a some water, lukewarm water, buried it that deep in water, let all the air bubbles come out for about 15 minutes. And then I couldn't bring it in because I got arthritis in the left foot a little bit, so it's a little hard to walk, but it's still good. And uh, it came around. So all we're going to do, let me show you how it looks. You can say, Tom, it's a little ragtag and warm, but <clears throat> that's life in the basement. No fertilizer except, except the fish water that I give it. So all I'm doing is taking it off. Now, Zen, yours will come back because this was, it looked deader than a doornail to me. You can see how all the leaves are, but a lot of them came back. So I'm just cutting above good growth there. And I'm not going to do no potting or nothing to this because I'm going to let it grow in the spring, let it take off. There's no roots growing out of the bottom because it was just planted in the container last summer. And there's a flower there, I mean a leaf there, so all the leaves are coming out, as you can see it. Let's take the dead ones off, cut to above a good growing point, and don't give up on your plants, because they'll reward you in the end. I, I love these ironwood uh, needle nose pruners. These things are, are the nuts, they're good. Okay, so that's our Fukian tea trimmed up, but it's it's gonna go back into the into the east window. Now uh, here's our Sarissa. It was out in, in that weather too, but it came back. It was all died back, bare branches, but look, it comes back, and look, it's rewarding us with flowers. So what do you think of that? And it's only in the east window, whatever sunlight it gets in the, in the morning, that's all the sunlight it gets, and then it just gets regular daylight. So now I'll show you my two failures, and that's the dwarf Ixora and the Mandevilla. It, they were both out in, that, in the same weather, 26 Fahrenheit or minus 3 degrees Celsius. It came back, and then it just, it just died. So you think I'm going to give up? No. 
I'm going to go out and buy me another one. Give it another shot. My dwarf XR, the same thing. Even though it's dead, the luck of the Irish, I have my shamrocks growing, my clover. It rewarded us with clover. So that's good. They're a little dry, but they're still hanging in there. I gave them some water. So they'll, they'll perk up the, the clover for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so, a little short uh, insert today. Now, today being St. Patrick's Day, what does Tom do? Today, I, in the evening, I pull up a hot cup of tea, and then I put on The Quiet Man, 1952 Best movie I ever seen in my life. It was with John Wayne, Maureen O'Hara, <clears throat> Barry Fitzgerald. I mean, this is a fantastic movie. I don't know why it didn't win more awards than it did because John Wayne, Maureen O'Hara, and Barry Fitzgerald were great actors, and that was <clears throat> one of the best movies I ever seen. Uh, they showed you the whole Irish countryside. How beautiful it looks and the people there oh my goodness this was a fantastic movie so if you get a chance to watch it that's what i'm doing today the quiet man 1952 so that's something good for saint patrick's day <clears throat> and for all of you whose name is joseph march 19th saint joseph's day and that's when i don't know in our custom they they would make a big saint joseph's day table at the church and then everybody would come down and sit and eat and have a good time so don't forget three leaf clover that's your shamrock <clears throat> and why do they say four leaf clovers are lucky because you can only find a four leaf clover one in ten thousand clovers that you look for so that means you find one like that you're in good luck so you take care everybody have your little shamrocks I mean there's uh, different things that they have for uh, St. Patrick's Day but this is uh, all I know is the shamrocks for now so you take care enjoy a safe relaxing day and remember cup of tea and the quiet man